Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation. Today's question is about kinematics calculus. The question reads, the displacement S meters of a particle moving along a straight line after T seconds is 3T plus T squared minus 40 cubed. Find its initial acceleration. So we are told that the displacement S is equal to 3T plus T squared minus 4t cubed. So before you continue, I want us to consider this. Usually when you're given the displacement, we can determine the velocity by differentiating the displacement with respect to time. And then we can also determine acceleration from velocity by differentiating velocity with respect to time. And if we are to get back from acceleration to velocity, what we simply do is to integrate acceleration. And here we simply integrate velocity in order to get displacement. So with that, we can now consider this. We are given the displacement as S is equal to 3T plus T squared minus 4T cubed. And we are required to determine the acceleration, the initial acceleration. So for us to get acceleration, first of all, we'll differentiate S to get V and then differentiate V again to get acceleration. So we're going to say V is equal to dS dt, which is, so let's differentiate this. 3T becomes 3 plus this is 2t and then this is 3 times 4 so we have minus 12 t and then the power we subtract 1 so that is 2 so that is for the velocity from velocity we can differentiate again differentiate velocity with respect to time to get acceleration so that is what you're looking for acceleration is dv dt that means we're differentiating this again. So 3 differentiated becomes 0 plus 2t becomes 2 and then minus 12t squared becomes minus 24. That is 2 times 12, that is 24. And then the power reduces by 1. So we are going to have t, power 1, which is just t. So this is the acceleration. And the question required us to find the initial acceleration. So anytime you're talking about initial acceleration, initial velocity, and so on, then it means the acceleration, like for this case, the acceleration when t is equal to zero. So if t is zero, what is acceleration? So acceleration is equal to 2 minus 24, but t is 0. A is equal to 2. Of course, meters per square second. And with that, we come to the end of the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.